This is the, the Komar, Komar show. show. Oh it's been God. so long, she forgot. I am In case so you didn't notice, it's behind us. It's behind us. If, if, if you want to turn around and get a quick reminder, the name of the show is the Komar show. What's up, y'all? I forgot. I didn't even. Can we do that again? No. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Candace. I'm Omar. And this is the Komar show. You're supposed to say it at the same time. What's the deal, Comies? It's your girl, Candace. We're not doing this again. <laughs> Move on. You guys. Seriously. We are not YouTubers anymore. I'm so sorry. We have moved on to other apps. She's moved on to other apps. We are living in, in a real world. We are actually living our real lives. We haven't been on YouTube for six months. It's mm -hmm. literally been the longest break we've ever taken from YouTube and it isn't on purpose. Our last episode, I think, was the engagement video. Then we went MIA, so I, I wanna say we are very sorry. Yeah, I apologize, but also, you know, we had to take care of life. You know, a lot of things that, that I had to handle personally and as well as Candace. And I took a little hiatus. I needed a, a mental break, clarity from just everything. It was really great for me. You know, I had some time to like refocus and really narrow in on what my goals are for this year. And I think just the time away from social was able to limit distractions and really allow me to really focus on the things that I truly care about. That's really why I took the break. Well, actually, I've been seeing it recently. The Instagram has also lately have been encouraging its users to, to take a break whenever they need to. If you ever need that time to just detach mentally, don't hesitate to get off of it. You know, it did wonders for me, so I'm sure it could work for some of you guys. So yeah, that's where I've been. And that's partly part of the reason why we've been missing on YouTube, just because I need it some personal time away and uh, yeah. I naturally slowed down because um, he wasn't on and I didn't even realize I needed a break too. So it actually worked out. We are excited about the next step. We're excited mm -hmm. about the next level in our lives. We have done a lot of spiritual uh, work among with each other, you yep. know. Our prayer has gone up a lot. Yep. We are manifesting our life, our dreams and now taking this next step, we're therapy. just, yeah, therapy, We've, we started therapy mm -hmm. because we don't take marriage lightly, like this isn't something that is like a joke to either one of us, but this is something that we've never done before. Never. And we gotta, we gotta make sure when we're going in that we're going in right and we're taking the, the right step forward. So yeah. we're laying a good foundation for the Comars. We feel comfortable, we feel confident, we're feeling so refreshed and ready to rock out and bring you guys along for the journey. We are just getting started. There is so much going on, you guys. The dogs are maniacs. So Did you guys know that we have a whole nother dog and she's a golden retriever? Has she ever been on an episode? Oh my she God, like, I don't had, think we even, you had, guys. Wow, she's, have, no, she's a puppy, but she doesn't look like a puppy. She's not a puppy anymore, but she is, and she's big. We got her really, really small. Who's your little sister? And uh, we've been wanting a golden because of the fact that I wanted a cuddly dog and he wanted a protective dog, but we still wanted something that was like good for family, like when we decided to have babies and stuff like that, to be able to have a good family dog. We have Ghost that needed a fur friend. He needed a buddy. He needed a buddy. And we know that because Huskies are always on the go. They're zooming, they're ripping, they're running, and we run about two miles a day and that's still not enough. For ghosts. Mm -hmm. So we felt like he needed a friend and I wanted a, a, a cuddly girl. I wanted a girl. So we got Honey and she has been the biggest blessing. She's been amazing. She's been amazing. And she watching is. Omar with the dynamic of a girl has been really cute too. Like he was like really like with Ghost and seeing him with Honey is just like it's just like a softer side. So seeing Omar with Honey has been like really, really cool. She follows me everywhere. She meditates <laughs> with me in the morning. She trains with me outside when I'm with clients. She literally is up my ass. Yeah. She All loves around him. this house. She loves him so much. <laughs> literally, okay, Ghost and Honey. Omar sleeps on this side, I sleep on this side. 
Honey sleeps on his side and Ghost sleeps on my side. When Omar wakes up at five in the morning to get out and go meditate, she literally follows him out. Ghost and, and stays. I, and when I say, when I get out the bed, she follows me to the bathroom. <laughs> and she won't even let me pee without being, and if I close the door without her, she will have a fit. Yeah, and wake me up, and that's not okay. And it's crazy, because she just comes into the bathroom to go to sleep. And then she comes out in here in the morning to just lay down to go to sleep, right? She doesn't even want to be up, but it's crazy. She's been, she's been amazing though, and she's been, um, she's been the protector that I really was searching for in, in, in a dog. When people come get close to the door, she's going off. If she hears a sound in the middle of the night, she's going off. Girls you know? could like care less. Yeah. And it's not like obnoxious, you know? It's like she's she's sounding off for the right things. I feel like we struck gold with both with our the dogs. Golden. Yeah, yeah. With the golden, with the new golden, with, with the, the new, new family member. Yeah. And and between them two, I mean they are literally inseparable. They're best friends and they started off as brother and sister. We had a whole mishap mm. that we can show you guys a little bit of those clips from our phone. Pretty much, Ghost and Honey ended up turning into husband and wife. <laughs> and they are not gonna have any children together because we were traumatized. This is them and we're gonna love them. Love them down as husband and wife. So they're also part of the Comies. <laughs> they are Honey and Ghost and we are very happy and blessed to have them in our home yeah so that's our update we got a freaking girl dog since since we've seen you last what else is new candace has been working out with me i lost 30 pounds <laughs> yeah candace has been working out we've, we've been in the gym hard by the way i got a new program dropping i just shot it today mm -hmm. you can find it on my instagram my bio my instagram my fitness page which is omar bold and fit or you can go to omarcbolden.com to download the how to move like an athlete program that's already available and this new one that I shot will be available very soon. By the time you guys see it, it may be already there. So just check in on Omar Bolden Fit or omarcbolden.com to get your issue. Fellas, I got this. I got the blueprint, fam. You want a lady? Try to lock some here? Tap in. No. Or ladies, ladies, you can get you, you can get your right to You want to show you? No. Show, show, no. Show what you looking like. Go to my Instagram. Go, go, show what you looking go to, like. Go to my Instagram. Come on, now show what you looking like. Don't act like you don't act like you don't want to do it. Don't act like you don't want to. It's been a long journey, y'all. Wow. Journey. We feeling good. <laughs> it's something light or whatever. Um, you guys, this PCOS whole situation. If you haven't checked out the episodes. It's on this channel. Mm -hmm. PCOS is a super common syndrome that is always misdiagnosed. It's barely diagnosed. I didn't know about it. I found an amazing doctor that diagnosed me and ever since then, I can go into detail, but you guys have to go watch those episodes. It's been a crazy roller coaster. Pretty much, long story short, when you eat everything right, you work out like a hog and you just can't lose the weight. Also, there's other symptoms that have to do with hormones and it's a woman-based syndrome. It's really, really crazy and it's super, super common. So if you don't know about it, make sure you guys check out the episodes that we have on this channel. We have helped a lot of women start to work with the diagnosis and actually see results. Mm -hmm. So I am coming up with a very important 30-day plan that helped me get to where I'm at 30 pounds down. Um, which is gonna have workouts, it's gonna have a meal plan, and pretty much just the whole background about PCOS and understanding our bodies as women. Mm -hmm. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. A lot of people have been asking, and I'm literally answering. It's, it's serious, she's working on it day and night here. I mean, it's like a full, like thorough guide from, like she said, from workouts to nutrition to just information that you need on the syndrome itself. So definitely tap in with that when that drops. She's working diligently on that. I'm trying to get it out as soon as possible, so just stay tuned. I can't really give you a date right now, but we're very excited about it, and I'm super excited to hear everybody's success stories, because if I could do it, you guys literally could do it. This is one of the craziest diagnoses I've ever had in my whole entire life. It came out of nowhere. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So that's what I've been working on. And also 5678, of course, is still up and rolling. We have this dance apparel line and amazing vegan magnetic lashes. We've been selling out, everything is flying and I couldn't be more happy. So make sure you guys check out the page shop.countmein5678.com. Mm -hmm. We have some new sets coming in and 
I'm just saying, I mean, Omar's been liking my sets when we've been working out together or whatever. It's something like, it's no big deal. Tap in, tap in. So we are gonna be going through the wedding planning with you guys. We're gonna bring you along for the ride. So make sure you guys just stay tuned, stay connected, and make sure you guys comment on what you guys wanna see. Please do that. This wedding planning, we're six months in and we haven't even locked in a location yet. So this is just telling you like, how tedious, we're about to go in. It's gonna be a destination, hopefully. We're, we're also over a year out. Yeah, over, over a year out. We're oh, yeah. also over a year out, so. We know the date. Which is odd, because I don't know how we know the date without the location. So crazy. We have a date, we have a event planner, a wedding planner, but she's not an a, we a wedding planner, she's an event planner. So she made that very lit. clear. And what's crazy is we have two event planners, because we have one that's overseas wherever we're gonna do the wedding. So we might just be the first people to have two event planners, two wedding planners. Like, I don't know, it's gonna be crazy. And that's all we have. Literally, that's it. And we have each other <laughs> and the dog. And we are also looking to buy a new house. So there's a lot coming up, a lot to look forward to, but also, I mean, Candace said it, if you guys just have any ideas of, not even ideas, if you guys have anything that you guys want to see from us specifically, I know you guys mentioned in the comments before, like routine, but go ahead and drop it in the comments below so we can cook that up for you guys. Yeah. So we, we enjoy creating content that you guys want to see. So let us know. It's been a minute. We're let just checking in. Yeah, let us know so we can help. Help, help us help you. Help, help us. There it is. That's it. That's it. Thank you guys so much. We love you. Make sure you like. Comment, comment and, and subscribe, subscribe to the Cold Show and until next time.